Hello there! Day 54? Yes, 54 of the Ewan McGregor thon, and today I will be watching American Pastoral. And uh, this movie, I have some high hopes for this film, I have to say. Not only is it Ewan McGregor's director's debut, but it I, I read the synopsis and it sounds like a film that would suit me. I think it's about a father who is on a quest to avenge or seek his daughter. There's something about a father who has to do something for his daughter and uh, I feel like those family stories work really well for me. So we've got the perfect actor, we've got a story that sounds really good and the perfect actor is uh, directing the film, so yeah, what not to love. So I do hope very much that this film won't be a disappointment, uh, but uh, I will let you know if it was or wasn't after I've seen the film. Yes. Yes, finally, another great film. I realize that this film doesn't have a super high score on IMDb, and I don't care one bit, I love this film. Love is maybe not the right word, but this is a great film, in my opinion. I was right with my summary, so I won't repeat that, but it's just, yeah, I, it's basically how I predicted it would go. As in, I, I like the fact that it's a family drama, but it also has a really good, at least in my opinion, uh, commentary on the society of America in the 60s and coincidentally one that still holds up to these days which is kind of sad. Speaking of sad, that's this film. This film is just really really sad and uh, for some reason I like that but not always apparently. I loved Ewan McGregor's character. I think he was great. I actually had a fair bit of empathy with his character. I love that he was so desperate, so committed to uh, in finding his daughter. Uh, yeah, I love stories where fathers or mothers really prove uh, their worth as a father or mother. And this film uh, did that perfectly. In fact, I like this film so much that I am seriously considering reading the book. Um, but not anytime soon, maybe later. Anyway, all in all, I am going to give this film an 8 out of 10 just because, well, it was a very good film with uh, good performances by everyone and a really serious and sad story that explores the relationship between a, f uh, a family and also the current state of the country that it is set in with all its problems. And with that, we are entering our final week, our final seven films on the Ewan McGregor a thon. And I guess I should also say on IMDb, Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens is listed between between American Pastoral and Our Kind of Traitor. But uh, I'm not going to watch that film, and I am also not going to watch The Last Jet, uh, The Rise of Skywalker, because even though Ewan McGregor is credited on IMDb for those films, he's not in them. You won't fool me. I'm just going to get angry. Not because I hate the sequels, I actually quite enjoy them, but just because it's not really a Ewan McGregor film. That being said, tomorrow is a Ewan McGregor film, and it is called Our Kind of Traitor. So do join me for that, and I will see you tomorrow.